textile fibers, threads, yarns and fabrics are measured in a multiplicity of units. A fiber has single filament of natural material, such as cotton, linen or wool, or artificial material such as nylon, polyester. Metal or mineral fiber is measured in terms of linear mass density, the weight of a given length of fiber. Various units are used to refer to the measurement of a fiber, such as the denier and tex, super s, worsted count, woolen count, cotton count, number metric and yield. A yarn of spun agglomeration of fibers used for knitting, weaving as sewing is measured in terms of cotton count and yarn density. Thread, usually consisting of multiple yarns plied together producing a long, thin strand used in sewing or weaving, is measured in the same units as yarn. Fabric, cloth typically produced by weaving, knitting and knotting textile fibers, yarns or threads, is measured in units such as the mom, thread count, ends per inch and pigs per inch. Units of measure for fibers. The linear density of a fiber is commonly measured in units of denier attacks. Traditional units include worsted count, cotton count and yield. Tex is more likely to be used in Canada and continental Europe, while denier remains more common in the United States in United Kingdom. The international system of units uses kilogram per meter for linear densities. In some contexts, the tex unit is used instead. Denier, denier, d-n-j-e-r, or den, a unit of measure for the linear mass density density of fibers is the mass in grams per 9,000 meters of the fiber. The denier is based on a natural reference. A single strand of silk is approximately one denier. A 9,000 meter strand of silk weighs about one gram. The term denier comes from the French denier, a coin of small value. Applied to yarn, a denier was held to be equal in weight to 1 24th ounce. Microdenier describes filaments that weigh less than 1 gram per 9,000 meters. There is a difference between filament and total measurements in deniers. Both are defined as above, but the first relates to a single filament of fiber, whereas the second relates to a yarn. Broader terms, such as fine, may be applied, either because the overall all yarn is finer because fibers within this yarn are thin. A 75 denier yarn is considered fine even if it contains only a few fibers, such as 32.5 dash DENIER fibers, but a heavier yarn, such as 150 denier, is considered fine only if its fibers are individually as thin as 1 denier. The following relationship applies to straight uniform filaments. DPF equals total denier, quantity of uniform filaments. The denier system of measurement is used on two or single filament fibers. Some common calculations are as follows. In practice, measuring 9,000 meters is both time-consuming and unrealistic. Generally, a sample of 900 meters is weighed, and the result is multiplied by 10 to obtain the denier weight. A fiber is generally considered a microfiber if it is one denier or less. A 1 denier polyester fiber has a diameter of about 10 micrometers. In tights and pantyhose, the linear density of yarn used in the manufacturing process determines the opacity of the article in the following categories of commerce. Ultra sheer, sheer, semi-opaque, opaque and thick opaque. Dot. For single fibers, instead of weighing, a machine called a vibroscope is used. A known length of the fiber is set to vibrate, and its fundamental frequency measured, allowing the calculation of the mass and thus the tighter. Textex is a unit of measure for the linear mass density of fibers, yarns and thread and is defined as the mass in grams per 1000 meters. The unit code is Tex. 
The most commonly used unit is actually the DCTX, which is the mass in grams per 10,000 meters. When measuring objects that consist of multiple fibers, the term filament X is sometimes used, referring to the mass in grams per 1,000 meters of a single filament. TEX is used for measuring fiber size in many products, including cigarette filters, optical cable, yarn, and fabric. S a super S number not a true unit of measure. S a super S number is an index of the fineness of the wool fiber and is most commonly seen as a label on wool apparel, wool fabric, and yarn. Worsted count Worsted count is an indirect measure of the fineness of the fiber in a worsted wool yarn expressed is the number of 560 yard lengths. If worsted yarn that a pound of wool yields. The finer the wool, the more yarn and the higher the count. It has been largely replaced by direct measures. Yield similar to texthandenia. Yield is a term that helps describe the linear density of a roving of fibers. However, unlike texthandenia, yield is the inverse of linear density and is usually expressed in yards pound. Yarn and thread. Cotton count near. Cotton count is another measure of linear density. It is the number of hanks of skein material that weigh one pound. Under this system, the higher the number, the fine of the yarn. In the United States, cotton counts between 1 and 20 are referred to as coarse counts. A regular single knit t-shirt can be between 20 and 40 count. Fine bed sheets are usually in the range of 40 to 80 count. The number is now widely used in the staple fiber industry. Hank, a length of 7 lees or 840 yards. 1 lee 120 yards. Yarn length, L per meter equals 1693 times LM, and EC times meter per kilogram, where L per meter is the yarn length in meters, LM, and EC is the English cotton count and meter per kilogram is the yarn weight in kilograms. English cotton count is an indirect counting system, that is, the higher the number the finer the yarn. Thread, a length of 54 inches. Bundle, usually 10 pounds. Lee, a length of 80 threads or 120 yards. To convert denier to cotton count, LM and EC equals 5,315 rho, den, where LM and EC is the cotton count and rho, den is the density in denier. To convert text to cotton count, LM and EC equals 590.5 rho, tex, where LM and EC is the cotton count and rho, tex is the density in tex. Thread thread is a cotton yarn measure, equal to 54 inches. Moms moms, traditionally used to measure silk fabrics, the weight in pounds of a piece of fabric if it were sized 45 inches by 100 yards. 1 mom equals 4.340 grams per square meter. 8 moms is approximately 1 ounce per square yard of 35 grams per square meter. The mom is based on the standard width of silk of 45 inches wide. The usual range of mom weight for different weaves of silk are Habutai, 5 to 16 millimeters. Chiffon, 6 to 8 millimeters. Crepe de Chine, 12 to 16 mm. Gauze, 3 to 5 mm. Raw silk, 35 to 40 mm. Organza, 4 to 6 mm. Charmeuse, 12 to 30 mm. The higher the weight in moms, the more durable the weave, and the more suitable it is for heavy duty use. And, the heavier the silk, the more opaque it becomes. This can vary even between the same kind of silk. For example, lightweight charm ooze is translucent when used in clothing, but 30 mom charm ooze is opaque. Thread count Thread counter threads per inch is a measure of the coarseness or fineness of fabric. It is measured by counting the number of threads contained in one square inch of fabric or one square centimeter, including both the length and width threads. The thread count is the number of threads counted along two sides of the square inch 
bleach added together. It is used especially in regard to cotton linens such as bed sheets, and has been known to be used in the classification of towels. Industry standard thread count is often used as a measure of fabric quality, so that standard cotton thread counts are around 150 while good quality sheets start at 180 and a count of 200 or higher is considered per car. Some, but not all, of the extremely high thread counts tend to be misleading as they usually count the individual threads in plied yarns. For marketing purposes, a fabric with 252 ply yarns in both the vertical and horizontal direction could have the component threads counted to a 1,000 thread count. Although, according to the National Textile Association, which cites the International Standards Group ASTM, accepted industry practices to count each thread as one, even thread spun as two or three ply yarn. The Federal Trade Commission in an August 2005 letter to NTA agreed that consumers could be deceived or misled by inflated thread counts. In 2002 ASTM proposed a definition for thread count that has been called the industry's first formal definition for thread count. A minority on the ASTM committee argued for the higher yarn count number obtained by counting each single yarn in applied yarn and cited as authority the provision relating to woven fabric in the harmonized tariff schedule of the United States, which states each ply should be counted as one using the average yarn number. Ends per inch. Ends per inch is the number of warp threads per inch of woven fabric. In general, the higher the ends per inch, the fine of the fabric is. The current fashion is to wear t-shirts with a higher thread count, such as soft and comfortable 30 single t-shirt that has 30 threads per inch as contrasted to the standard t-shirt with an 18 thread count per inch. Ends per inch is very commonly used by weavers who must use the number of ends per inch in order to pick the right reed to weave with. The number of ends per inch varies on the pattern to be woven and the thickness of the thread. Plain weaves generally use half the number of warps per inch for the number of ends per inch, whereas denser weaves like a twill weave will use a higher ratio like two-thirds of the number of warps per inch. Fine of threads require more threads per inch than thick ones, and thus result in a higher number of ends per inch. The number of ends per inch in a piece of woven cloth varies depending on the stage of manufacture. Before the cloth is woven, the warp has a certain number of ends per inch, which is directly related to the size reed being used. After weaving the number of ends per inch will increase, and it will increase again after being washed. This increase in the number of ends per inch and shrinkage in the size of the fabric is known as the take-up. The take-up is dependent on many factors, including the material and how tightly the cloth is woven. Tightly woven fabric shrinks more than loosely woven fabric, as do more elastic yarns and fibers. Picks per inch. Picks per inch. Inch is the number of weft threads per inch of woven fabric. A pick is a single weft thread, hence the term. In general, the higher the picks per inch, the fine of the fabric is. Quality. Martindale The unit Martindale quantifies a textile's resistance to abrasion when used for upholstery. Bibliography. Collier Ann M. A Handbook of Textiles, Pergamon Press, p. 258, ISBN 0080180574, ISBN 0080180566, Retrieved January 2009, Check Date Values in Access Date Equals, Curtis, H.P., Glossary of Textile Terms, Arthur Roberts Black Book. Manchester, Marsden and Amp Company, Limited, 1921, retrieved the 11th of January 2009.